getting the experience to love someone or for someone to love you like that's the curse so you could be the honey witch but then you're sacrificing love your goal decides like yeah that's fine like I want to be the honey witch she doesn't care but then she meets Lottie and Lottie is such a grumpy character she is something else is a lesbian romance. 
though, so it's not for the week. Um, but this is like a contemporary romance. It's very cute, very fun. We follow Emma and Justin, and it's so funny because every time I heard anyone talk about the characters in the plot, I was like, I don't know if this book is for me. It sounds, I don't know, I don't have the right words, but I just felt like it wasn't going to be for me, but then I loved it. And I'm like, look at that, Kay, you thought you were going to hate it. Um, but basically, Emma and Justin, like, every time they date someone, it ends up failing, but then the person that they break up with ends up moving on, getting married, like, having the best life. So they feel like they're both cursed. So what happens is they end up linking up together, and then some things happen, but there's also other things beyond their romance. Um, like the relationship with Emma and her mother and Justin's life as well. Like they have a lot of things that they're dealing with um, separately and then together as one. And they're just, I don't know, I feel like they are the perfect couple for each other. And it was just
from the stores from Twilight, like Twilight stuff. Like I was obsessed with Twilight. So the references of Twilight in this book was just giving me life. I think that's why I, I like Allie now because of her Twilight references. <laughs> so basically, love theoretically follows a physicist named Elsie, 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 and she's basically navigating her freaking hectic life. Um, she is an adjunct professor teaching thermodynamics, I believe. I don't know what the hell that is, so don't ask me. Um, and she's also being a fake girlfriend. She's like on this fake girlfriend dating site thing. Um, and one of her favorite clients, his name is Greg. Well, Greg happens to be the brother of a experimental um, physicist. And I, what was his name? J Jack? No, Greg. Yeah, Jack. She's with Greg playing his fake girlfriend. Okay, guys, hold on. The ambulances are coming. So she didn't know. And then it comes out that, boom, this is the man that she's hated. This is the man that basically, like, put down her mentor. Anywho, so what ends up happening? She's like, you know what? Screw this guy. Like, she's, she's ready to go to world war. My girl, she's like, screw him. Everything he's done in my field, like... I, I had 
Gwen's daughter Connie has given up her job in Italy as a wedding planner. I don't know why she went normal. I'm kidding. Um, to basically take care of her mother because her mother is suffering from dementia. So Gwen never knows which version of her mother she's gonna get at any given time because she's switching it up. You know, dementia. It's sad. Dementia. It's not easy. Situation was really crazy, but also. 
so fun and if you don't know oh my gosh i am so sorry sorry the police was coming after me because i keep talking shit about emily henry no i'm only kidding um so wild love what i loved about wild love was that i really liked the characters like i liked ford i thought he was really like such a good guy like we all need a ford in our life um rosie was a little annoying but it's okay <laughs> I so-